Hello my beautiful jewels and welcome back to my channel. Now this is actually the second time I'm filming this. The first time was when I asked you guys if you wanted a colorful look or a bronze look. And you guys picked the bronze look. Technically if you think about it, I did the colorful look first since my last post. Now I'm giving you guys the brown, I mean the bronze me up look. But this time I'm making a video for it so I can post it on my channel. I've been so inactive on my channel. It's insane. I'm gonna name this just a, I guess a get ready with me, life update type of thing mixed in with a, um, with the look, you know? Damn, and I did it again. I did this last video too. I was actually gonna do my eyebrows before I started filming, but looks like I'm gonna have to do my eyebrows now and then I'll cut, catch back up with you guys in a second. Guys, I'm back done with the eyebrows thank gosh I did go ahead and finally purchase myself the Smashbox um, primerizer it helps my foundation stick to my face so flawlessly it's insane but I still haven't been able to find a primer that I can put on my nose as well that won't lift up my foundation now as I told you guys before the little um, professional sample that I have I did try it on my nose at first too and it did the same thing it lifted my foundation and so I only used it like right here on the sides for um, like the pores and stuff so I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with not putting primer on my nose I don't know but it's it's a struggle it's a struggle like I ain't even gonna lie to you guys this stuff looks a little inappropriate if you get my gist and this stuff um blends into your skin like dries into your skin pretty good it doesn't leave it shiny like how it is now it'll dry in well, well I guess it does kind of leave it shiny but either way it blends in moisturizes into your skin pretty well but I did see a girl um, on Instagram, she, I don't think it was on her page, it was someone that reposted it, but she actually put um, eyeshadow primer on her nose. I'm like, hmm, that's very different and interesting and it might work, but I'm not going to try it in this video. <laughs> I am actually going to go ahead and go in with the um, professional primer and just set it, you know, right there where my pores are a little big. This stuff actually smells pretty good, if you have not tried this primer. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this little life update type of thing. I believe the last time I talked to you guys, well, I told you guys that I had a job. Life update is, I don't have a job anymore. Not because of anything bad, not because I was bad at it, not because I was fired. I actually quit keep it short the only way how I got that job was because of my cousin that I'm pretty sure I told you guys that um, she was um, moving to Idaho but ended up not liking it and moved back and so our boss or my boss at the time our boss told her you know if she ever decided to come back she can and so she did and um, when I found out she was coming back, it's not necessarily that I got but her or was sad that she was coming back and I wasn't going to have my job anymore. It wasn't even that. It was mainly personal reasons that made me not able to handle the kind that kind of work. When I was told that she was coming back, I did put in my two weeks. So for those of you who didn't know, I don't think I ever told you where I worked, but I was a receptionist, office manager, whatever you want to call it, at a psychiatric office. It wasn't a big one, it's just a, a small one. If you have not tried any type of receptionist job like that, for a pretty much medical office, um, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. I'm not saying it's nothing anyone can't handle. But it is definitely a lot, especially to be coming back into the work job, into the work life after being off or ha after not being able to work for almost two years. Not even because of that either, just personal reasons that I'm not sure I am 
comfortable sharing with you guys yet is the reason why I put in my two notice for that job. <laughs> but my boss was super cool. He was awesome. It's great days of working, great pay. But for me, it's just, it wasn't worth it for what I was going through. But my boss was super cool, super chill. So he did understand where I was coming from. So I just had to stay this past week. He didn't, um, he said I didn't have to finish out the two weeks. So this past week, I was just cashing out my cousin on anything that had changed since she's been gone. I feel like this year is going to be just a year of trying new, new and different things. I will be trying out, well, technically, I do have a new job. It's not really a job, though, because it's... I honestly really don't know how to explain it. You're not treated as an employee. I guess pretty much have your own business, but off of... I, don't, I really don't know how to explain it. You guys will see coming up if you want to... Um, if you're interested in knowing what I'm talking about. I will be posting soon about it on my Instagram, but I thought since, you know, I'm making a video and it is on my YouTube and most of you guys do watch my videos. One of my good friends from high school started doing this, um, I don't know if the, in the beginning of the year or a little even before, but, um, she was doing this and she had, she, she was having a, um, promo going on to join her in the line of work that she does. And, you know, and you know what, I was just kind of like a, I've been wanting to try to do it for so long, but I psych myself out and just be like, oh, no, I'm just not gonna do it, whatever. This time, I was like, no. It's like, one, I don't have a job anymore. Two, I need a job <laughs> for income and stuff like that. And three, I just wanna try it. Quite a bit of Instagrammers do this, but um, if you guys have heard of It Works products, they're weight loss products like you have the wraps and detox teas and coffees and stuff like that that is what i would be working on i just signed up yesterday it's like super hard to explain since i did i just like barely started and i really don't even know um much to about it or to do myself the only thing i know i need to do is get at least four loyal I think four, four loyal loyal customers to buy products from me from my website. I also got a website when I signed up. I got my own It Works website. DM me, go to my website, order what you want. But you would have to order this month for July, order next month in August, and the following month in September. And then you don't have to order after that. Just I was too busy blabbering and I forgot to freaking do my eyeshadow before my foundation. So, we're gonna try something new now. Doing eyeshadow after foundation. Okay, and for each person that becomes one of my loyal customers, that would pretty much help me start gaining money, you know? It actually doesn't have to be just four loyal customers. It can be as many people as that sign up that want to try it off my website and that I believe that is when I will be able to start making money off of it. I will leave my it my it works website down in the description if you guys are interested in looking at any of the products that are being sold. I am still waiting for my samples to try out and everything. Once that comes in I will that's when I will start promoting um, it works a lot more a lot of you guys should know that I am really into uh, Fitness like especially into my health and fitness because since I got hurt I did I gained At least 45 to 50 pounds if you guys can't tell Luckily, I was blessed enough for it to go everywhere not just in one spot I'm really hoping these it work products will work for me since I pretty much working from home now i could start going to the gym every morning like i used to before i got a real job i'm really excited about that i hope you guys are su uh, will support me in this it's really new and i'm just hoping praying that it'll work out for me obviously if i get bored of of working as a from a, from home office if as you can say I will still be going out and looking for a job if I get bored 
of that and of like pretty much not really doing anything probably still be going to school even if I don't end up working for what I went to school for at least I have the knowledge of that and can honestly still help people out with what I learned yeah there's my big old ass long spiel <laughs> oh and plus on the bright side of all of this I will have a hundred percent 130,000% more time to do makeup videos for you guys. Since we are doing a bronze look, I have this fiercely, I have my fiercely nude palette. So I can use the browns in there. But I'll probably use Le Leopard because it's like the lighter brown. Okay, so I can use this brown as well. Sorry if you guys can't see it, but I can use this brown as well. That color is pukey. So I might use some of that. And if I want to go a tad bit darker, I can go into my BH uh, Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry Eyeshadow Palette and go in with this brown right here. Just grab my blending brush, dip into Leopard, dab it up, and then just go ahead and blend that in there very lightly. So yeah, you guys, that is what I'm doing now. I also want to thank you guys so much because how much love and support that I got on my previous post of my uh, pink angel eyeshadow look that made my entire year right now by the time I woke up this morning I was I'm at I think 133 likes and 59 saved um, saved my look that's insane. That look was actually inspired by my nails. I had got these done Monday after work. So I'm like, oh, I, was like I really want to do a look inspired to my nails. So thank you nails. <laughs> so now we're going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. Pick up Pukey. And kind of put that into the crease. I freaking love Jaclyn Hill's formula. It's crazy, crazy silky. If you guys are wondering where this cute ass freaking little, this would, I think this was like a smudge brush or something like that. I don't know. It is super soft and it's actually really, really good. It's from Fashion Nova. I'm really surprised. This says the B Bella. It says right here, so I don't know if that's the brand of it. It has this cute little diamond encrusted inside super pretty and i actually might order more <laughs> if you guys know any good bronzers please please let me know dm me or put it in the comments below and i will freaking go pick that up today because i need a good bronzer and good blush i do want to add a little um shimmer to it Ooh, you guys i might have to use this color that looks very sun-kissed. I think I'm gonna use it. Holy crap. This shit is so pigmented. Look at it. Okay. Now we're just gonna put it in all over. Make everything just glisten. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing, is, this shade is so perfect. So now that we are pretty much semi done with it we're going to the highlight this is actually one of the very first concealers well no no it's not it's not the first <laughs> fucking lying uh, one of the youtubers that i watch uh, um she she was using the la girl concealer thingy and she was saying that was really good so um the mall over here in, in um Arizona they sell these at like the stores and stuff like that clothes store and it's only they sell them for like three something three or two something I'm like oh I'm gonna just get it fuck it so I did and I love them another really life-changing event that is going to happen is with me and Joseph. Now, I'm not going to say what it is exactly because I'm waiting to go see him so we can tell you guys together because 
you know, it ain't just me. It's me and him, so, yeah, that's, that's all I'm gonna say about it. I guess stay tuned for that video. I think that's all that's really new. That video concerning me and Joseph should be coming fairly soon. The only reason I'm not saying much to you guys now is because I just feel like Joseph should be here too. I'm just hoping the news doesn't get out before we are able to tell you guys first. And if it does, oh my gosh, I would be very, very upset. And Joseph knows that. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. If you guys are looking for a good, cheap baking powder, this is the bee's knees. But if you guys know any, like have seen any reviews or have, have it yourself, please DM me or comment um, if it's good, if it's a good ass baking powder. And if so, then I just might invest in it. That's why I feel like 2018 will be my year of trying new things, discovering new things, um, hopefully being successful in, in um, trying whatever I decide to do. I really feel like things will turn around for me soon enough. Okay, now I think I'm gonna add just a little teensy bit of pukey my under eyes now we go in for the bronzer this bronzer is from Ofra and it's called Americano now we're gonna bronze up this face because I'd be looking whitewashed right now look like I was in six months of hibernation not six months trying to tan okay and yes I do like to make fish lips to get that car right I am dragging Obviously, I'm dragging the bronzer down so that way it's, there's not like a line there so it can blend out and also to give me, you know, a tan look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, now I'm going to carve out these cheeks. Let that bake for a little. Now, since we don't want to look too brown, we are going to add a pop of blush. Now, I do use like a very not so intense colored blush because I'm not that into blush. Just I've just put enough to get some color pretty much. There. Okay, now I'm going to be mixing two highlighters. My e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls along with Wet n Wild's Crown of My Canopy to get the bronze look, obviously. So I'm not going to be putting too much of the Moonlight Pearls, just enough <laughs> i don't know but um i'm trying to see if this would help this pop more i'm going to get the urban decay all nighter setting spray i still having a problem it's very good setting spray but i'm still having the problem of my nose getting very oily so i think that's just something i'm gonna have to deal with there's nothing so far that has helped me with that so Go ahead and spray this side of my face and apply highlighter. Let's apply a slight highlight. Why is my like skin having some kind of natural glow right now? I'm gonna go in with this highlight, the crown of my canopy. And just go ahead and put that over. Oh yes. Uh huh. This was good. This was good. There. Now we got more of that sun kissed look. That setting spray smells like alcohol. I'm not even gonna lie. Now we are going into the lips. What I decided to um, do was take these lip liners. They are from Ofra. And this one in nude. This one in spicy. I'm gonna do an ombre effect, so light out my lip with spicy and then go in with nude.
Okay, so this is what the lip turned out. I really love it. <laughs> and now I'm just going to finish everything off this spray. Hey guys, so it turned out I forgot to um, end my <laughs> video because I was actually going to go outside to show you what it looked like in the sun, whatever sun there was. It's really cloudy outside right now. I guess I forgot, but I did end up taking a picture outside um, so you guys can see like how it looked, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's on my Instagram if you don't know what it is. My username's in the description if you want to go ahead and look me up. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, comment, any suggested videos you guys want to see. I really do anything. And if you know anybody or even family members, just anybody who you think would most likely like watching my videos, then please have them head on over because I will be, pu I will be pumping out more videos for you guys. I will see you next time.